Psalms 37, if you would. This is a wonderful psalm. The Bible here says it's a psalm of David, and it's special. It's a blessing, and it's good to hear here. There's so much you can read the whole thing and just over and over a time. But I want you to look with me, if you would, please, in verse number 23. Psalms 37, verse 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. A couple of special things are said here. It talks about a good man. Are you a good man? You say, preacher, I don't know. Ask your wife. She'll tell you whether she's a good man or not. Amen. But he says he's a good man. And, and he goes on and talks about it. And, and he says that uh, he delighteth in his way. Amen. Can I tell you this? If you'll get delighteth about the things of God, pretty soon you'll become, you're a good man. Amen. Just the delightings and being blessed there. But there's several verses here I want you to look at with me if you would as we look at five verses here that will indicate that matter about a good man, a good man that, that is being blessed of God, all right? And maybe you're thinking right now, preacher, I wouldn't declare that myself, but I wish I was, amen? amen. Maybe you'd say, God, I'd like to get that point to where I'm just blessed in strength, and God can look at me, and others can say, he's a good man, he's a good man, all right? Let's look, if you would, please, at several verses coming up here. The first thing I want you to look with me in verse number 24. Now, he's talking about this good man. He's ordered of the Lord, and, and he deserteth in his way. But in verse 24 it says, though he, though he fail, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. Would you look at that first verse? Though he fall. Now, sometimes we think if you're a good man, you'll never fall. Well, that's not true. Amen. Sometimes we have troubles and we have issues and, and, and uh, difficult times. And you say, preacher, I, 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 I'm just falling in this. Or you listen to me. We can still fall even though we're good men. Amen. And the Bible says, and God's going to lift you up. Amen. Well, preacher, I, I, I feel like there's some people out here, they're good men. They've never, they've never fallen. Are you kidding yourself? There isn't anybody here that hasn't fallen now and then. Amen. Every once in a while it takes, and, and we're a part of it. Uh, I, I'm one of you would just say in your own heart, yeah, there's been times that I failed. Amen. And sometimes that's the way it is. But are you listening? Even God knows. He knows it's there. All right? We can fall. Sometimes we fall with others. Amen? Sometimes it's with your family. Amen? Sometimes it's with other people you know. Now, uh, how many of you, ha you husbands are here? Husbands, all right? You're looking at me? Amen? You ever failed with your family, maybe with your wife? You just dropped the ball. Amen? It happens that way. And sometimes uh, we'd like to think, well, preacher, I know other preachers, they never fail. They never had any problems. He said, no, no, you're going, you're going to struggle. Amen. You're going to fail with your family. You're going to make mistakes. It's going to come up. And yet God says, I'm going to let you fall. I'm not going to let you go down. I'm going to lift you up. I wonder, would you say, God, I'm awfully glad that I, I had a problem with my, my husband, maybe with our wife, maybe with our children. You ever fail with children? Now, children look around and say, Mom and Dad, they never have a problem. No, they do. We failed. Amen. Sometimes, I remember one time, I'm going to tell you a story. I'll talk about about Scott. Uh, we, we went out one day and, and the house was playing around and uh, she come to me and cutting up and, and uh, uh, Ellen came, Scott came to me and he'd done something he's not supposed to do. And I said, uh, Scott, you shouldn't have done that. I told you not to do that. He said, you didn't tell me that. I said, whoa, wait a minute. I'm the man of God. I don't make any mistakes. I said, Scott, you messed that up. You shouldn't have done it. I told you not. 
He said, Daddy, you didn't tell me that. Yeah, don't you hate it for a kid to lie to you? I said, I'm going to tell you one more time. I told you not to do, and you did it. He said, Daddy, you didn't tell me. I said, okay, let's go. Amen. We back and give him spanking. He went in. Here come Ellen. She said, Daddy, you didn't say that. I said that, not Scott. I was wrong. You see, what did I do? I failed. I dropped a mistake. And I went over and I said, well, maybe I made a mistake here. No, I said, no, oh dear God. I messed up and dropped the ball. You know what? Sometimes we drop them with our children. Your wives, amen. Sometimes we have problems. Have you ever had any problem at church? I, just read that verse. What, what does it say there? Though he fall, sometimes we make mistakes. And sometimes maybe you're right here and you preach, I feel so dirty and I feel so bad and, and it's so, I wish I'd never happen. Amen. Well, we have those problems, but God can lift us up. Amen. Amen. And sometimes we can come and apologize and we can correct and we find out what's going on and we can be honest. Amen. And, and I just, I love that thought after he says, yeah, it's going to be great, but you're going to fall. You shall be utterly cast down, not up totally, but the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. You know, I'm glad even though we make mistakes, we can come and God will say, let me lift you up. Amen. Maybe today you need to be lifted up. God wants to do that in your heart. I've made a mistake. I've gone the wrong way. I've failed and it's wrong. But you know what? God said, I'm going to lift you up. I'm going to encourage you. I'm going to get you back up. Amen. Look, if you would, please, at verse number 25. I have been old and now old. I have been young and now old. I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. The second thing I want you to get across here is these steps are never forsaken. He tells us right here, he tells us that uh, uh, it's going to happen and the steps are going to happen and sometimes we're going to fail. But he says, when I was young and now I'm old, God always gets us through and takes care of us. Amen. Amen. I wonder if right now you say, preacher, God's going to take care of it. And I know it's been a mistake, and I know it's been the wrong direction, and maybe it hasn't been as, as I wish it was. But you know what? God's going to take care of it, and God's going to take, get me back on my place. Amen. Uh, you may be here and you say, Preacher, I'll never, <laughs> I'll never be back where I used to be. You know what? God can still do it. And he says, even if you're young or old, God's going to take care of it. God's still going to be there. Amen. I wonder if you're willing to say, Lord, I'm just going to trust God and whatever it comes along, whatever it takes, I'm just going to stay with it. Amen. And, and uh, I'm not going to uh, walk away. I'm not going to quit. Uh, I'm not going to give it up. I'm not going to quit. I'm just going to keep, let God take me, serve me, and take care of me. I wonder, uh, I'm not going to ask you to raise your hand. It says some of you are young. How many of you think you're young? Don't raise your hand. Amen. I wonder how many of you say, but I'm old. You can go ahead and raise your hand. Amen. A lot of us. But he said, God always has taken care of me. Amen. Aren't you glad that God's still able? You might be here and young, and you say, preacher, uh, uh, it'll never happen to me. No, it was already just read. You're going to fall. You're going to have troubles. But you know what? God will take care of you. Amen. It's always going to be there. He's always going to lift you up. He's always going to give you a blessing. And I hope today maybe you just think, Preacher, I've been waiting and I've been 
waiting for God to take care of it. And uh, I, I, I'm wondering if God's ever going to, yeah, he says, whether you're young or old, God's still going to take care of you. God can take care of you. If you're here today and you say, preacher, I don't know. You know, sometimes older people can make mistakes, sometimes young people. But God says, I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. Just stay with me. Just wait on God. Amen. So I hope that you today can understand God's there and he'll take care of you. All right? Let's look at the third thing, if we may. Verse number 31. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. This God's directions will always be directed there. I wonder if you'd be honest and you say, when God brings me to that point and we go the wrong direction and we fail and God lifts us up. Now get, get across this. I hope you'll understand what I'm saying. There's times you're going to fail. You're going to make mistakes. And you're going to fail. But God's going to lift you up. Amen. Amen. He just said there. And He says, I'm going to be there and I'm going, to, I'm going to correct you. But you know, then He says, and then I'm going to straighten you up and put your feet back where it's supposed to be. Amen. amen. You know, one thing about uh, uh, problems, amen. You say, preacher, uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure what to do. And listen to me. You just listen to God when you fail and you make mistakes and you get back where you should be. God says, I'm going to lift you up and I'm going to straighten that out. And then I'm going to show you how to get your steps back where they're supposed to be. Amen. You know, God doesn't want you to make mistakes and just do it over and over and over and over again. He says, I want you to come back. Amen. And I want you to follow these steps and do what's right. Amen. Amen. I wonder how many of us are willing. How many of us are willing to say, God, now I want, I want righteousness. I want to do what's right. Sometimes you may be there and you say, Preacher, I don't know. Well, I promise you, God says, I'll, I'll, I'll correct you, all those things. But I'm going to set you straight, straight, so that you'll do right. Amen. And so that you, you, your, your righteousness will be what it ought to be. You know why? Because He wants you to be a good man. He wants you to be a good man. He don't want you to go the wrong direction and just go on and on and on right on to it and have your problems. No, He says, I want you to, to get your life back straightened out so you'll do right. Amen. Amen. He wants our life to be righteous and holy. Amen. He wants to be able to look at us and say, God, I want to do what's right. Amen. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your love. Thank God for that. He says, I'll take care of it if you'll allow me to. Amen. He won't let you slide. We'll get you back where you need to be. Look with me, if you would, please, in verse 34. Look at this one. Verse 34. Wait on the Lord and keep His law, His way, and He shall exalt thee to inherit the land when the wicked are cut off. Thou shalt see it. Look up our verse 34. Wait on the Lord. I wonder how many of us are willing to say, God, I'm just going to do right and I'm going to wait and God, you're going to take care of it. Amen. I wonder how many of us ever makes mistakes and we just have to sit down and say, God, I'm just going to wait. I'm not, I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to give up. God, I trust you. I'm just going to wait on you. Amen. 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 Are you willing to wait on God? I wonder if there's people today that say, Preacher, I'm just ready to quit. I'm ready to walk away. I'm trying, God just ready to give up and uh, fall in. No, God says, no, just wait on God. Amen. Be patient. You say, well, what's God going to do? I don't know, but I know one thing. He's going to take care of it. Amen. He's not going to let us slide. He's not going to let us make a mistake. You just wait on God. I wonder if you're here today. 
that you're willing to say, God, whatever you do in my life, I'm going to wait on you. Amen. I'm going to let you work in my life. I'm going to let you bring it out. And God, I'm just going to wait till you say amen. Amen. Uh, you say, preacher, I don't know what it is. Just, just wait on God. Just wait on God. Don't let him do that. Amen. Are you listening? Wait on him. God's waiting on you. Will you do that? Amen. If you would, please look at verse number 37. I have seen the wicked in great power. No, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Verse 37. Mark the perfect man. We've already talked about the good man. Mark the perfect man and behold the upright. Look at this. For the end of that man is peace. The end of that man will be peace. God's going to take care of it. I wonder if you might be here today and you say, Preacher, when's it going to? No, you wait on God and God will bring you to peace. Amen. He'll bring you where you need to be. I wonder if we're willing to do that. Amen. Well, I want to be a good man, and I don't know whether that'll happen. You just wait on God, and God, God will bring you into the right thing. Sometimes we'll look back and we'll say, God, is it ever going to change? He's already told us. You wait on God, and then God's going to bring you where you're supposed to be. He'll wait on you there. It'll be like you're supposed to be. Amen. Are you willing to do that? God says, I want to be a good man. I wonder if you are listening to me right now as the Holy Spirit is speaking to us. He says, you're a good man. Just, just, you may fail. You may struggle. But he says, I'm not going to let you be crushed. I'm going to lift you up. I'm going to correct you and get you back where you're supposed to be. And the end of your peace is going to be the blessing of God. God will take care of it. We don't have to worry about that. He says he'll take care of it. In just a moment, we're going to have prayer. Maybe somebody here that you look at me right now and you say, well, I'm glad I've never had any problem like that. I'm glad that I've never had a situation like that. I'm glad I don't have to be concerned about that. And there's something in saying, maybe you're saying, well, maybe I am. And I need situations. And sometimes we just need to wait on God and say, God, you take care of it. Amen. I want it to be blessed. I, I want to be able to say, God, I want to do. I want to do my good man work. Amen. Are you willing to desire that in your heart? In just a moment, we'll stand. And if God's saying, God, I, I want a better heart, which there, and God, I don't want to, I want your blessing, what you give me here. I want the end to be the peace, and I want it to be what it should be. God, I want it to be right. 